Hello and welcome to another tutorial on D2 Apps. This tutorial is also a shout out to Principal Mark Venner, who is the principal at Sandstone Elementary here in Billings Public Schools, and he asks us, how do I get a Google Form to email me when I start getting responses? So Mr. Venner, this uh, video tutorial is for you. What I'm going to do is show you uh, how to create a Google Form rather quickly because the emphasis is on what to do with it after we're done creating the form. So I'm just going to, I'm in my Google Drive, I'm going to go to Create and then I'm going to click Form and I'm actually not going to go through creating any questions or anything but I will go ahead and title this form sample survey and I'll pick my theme and I'll click OK. At this point I would add questions and um, build my form but in order to answer Mr. Venner's question on how do I um, collect responses through my email um, what I need to do is I need to make sure I click here choose response destination and I'm going to say that I want it my data or my responses to end up in a new spreadsheet notice it picks up the name of the survey that I've used and then it puts in parentheses responses so that's the file that I'm going to be looking for once I do that, I actually end up with two files in my Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and close this form and go back to my drive and I'll just show you where those sample surveys are. You can see they're starting to come up already. So I have my original sample survey, which is my form. That's what I use to create my survey or my input information. But then I have my sample survey responses. And that's where all of my data is going to come from. So in order to get this data emailed to me, I need to open the responses file. Once the responses file is open, I can simply go to Tools. And you're going to see down towards the bottom, oops, excuse me, I'm sorry, tools, you're going to see down towards the bottom, notification rules. I will click on that. And when I click on that, you're going to see that I have several different choices here. Notify me at, and then of course it gives the email address, and then I choose what my parameters are. So for example, if any changes are made, this means whether I get responses or whether I have a co-editor and the co-editor makes changes. I can also say if anything on this sheet has changed. So what that means is if I had multiple pages in this document and something were to change. This is the one I really like. The next option is notify me at this email if any of these cells are changed. So for example, if I'm really looking at um, a specific response that I want from um, my audience, then I can say, you know, for example, my untitled question. As soon as they answer that, shoot me an email so that I get the information for that. So you can actually go through this window and see what some of the parameters are. Um, one thing I might point out is notice that there is a digest. So what you could do is at the end of the day receive an email that shows all the responses. I think this is an excellent option for teachers that are collecting data um, from your students on a project. You don't have to have a ton of email coming in as all 25 or 30 of your students are responding. You could get the information to you in an email at the end of the day. Um, and then also you can say email me right away, which means you are going to get multiple emails. This feature is nice if you're sending out a survey to your parents or principals if you're sending out a survey to staff or parents and you want to get the email immediately upon um, someone filling out the form because that's, it's important data you want to get right away, then you could say email me right away. So you want to make sure you choose one of these, either a daily digest or perhaps emailing you right away. Once you've got your um, notification set, so set your notification rules, you can then click Save. So I actually am going to deselect this guy and I'm going to say any changes are made. And then I'll click Save. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and then it shows me my notification rule. So what I've said is, send me an email at that email address. If any changes are made, then send me an email. Notice you can come in, so I'm going to go ahead and say done. I'm going to go back up to my tools menu to notification rules. That's how I got it started in the first place. And it shows you the rule that you created. You could edit that rule or delete that rule at any time. Or you can actually narrow down your rules and add more qualifiers to it. So it's a pretty powerful um, feature that you have in your Google Docs in the form section so that you can get notified when your forms are starting to be filled out. So Mr. Venner, I hope this helps you with your question and please feel free to continue to ask those questions so we can continue to help you.